what I'm about to say is not new. Water is one of the biggest sources of life. Everyone needs it. Imagine living in a world with no access to clean water. For millions of people, including children, this is the reality. Every day, 1,000 children die because of unsafe water and sanitation. This is because they don't have a choice and do not have access to proper sanitation and hygiene facilities. Diseases like cholera, typhoid, and dysentery spread through water and they can kill children. Millions of children are also missing out on their education. Three out of 10 schools in the world don't have access to safe water and sanitation. Students in these schools are then more likely to fall ill, miss class, and drop out. Menstruating students also cannot manage their periods in a healthy and dignified way. In areas of conflict, children are 20 times more likely to die from diseases linked to unsafe water and sanitation than from violence because wars wipe out water and sanitation infrastructure, leading to disease and death. Continued droughts, floods, conflicts, and famine, often worsened by climate change, are increasing water insecurity for millions. The main fact is this, no one stands to suffer more than children. UNICEF works in over 100 countries to help provide access to clean water and reliable sanitation, including in emergency situations such as the recent earthquakes in Syria and Turkey. But we need more water action from our governments. To all the world leaders at the UN Water Conference, the clock is ticking and the world is at a tipping point. You must make sure children are the center of all water agendas and must increase action and investment in water, sanitation, and hygiene. Access to clean water is not a privilege, it's a right. And children deserve no less. For them, it is a matter of life and death.